Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Mariana, aka Mary B, and I am so happy to meet you. Happy Tuesday to you guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today is Tuesday, the 4th of October, so happy new month, happy October. I do apologize if you guys can hear any like extra noise in the background. I have my air condition running, it is hot and um, so that's the reason why. I feel like it's been a minute since I've actually picked up my camera and vlogged. It actually has been. With the exception from my hiking vlog, the last time that I actually vlogged was for the summer food fest with the Trini YouTubers. That was actually the last time, yeah. To be honest, I've been feeling a little bit, I don't want to say despondent really, not despondent. I've been feeling a little bit weird about vlogging because it's like I'm a little bit overwhelmed with what to do pertaining to my channel right now because I feel like, I feel like some people are here for the ship life content, the Atsy with Mary B vlogs and all of that and then some people are here just for regular all Mary being at home cooking and all that good stuff so it's a little bit tricky for me right now I'm trying to figure out how to properly balance my regular home life with the ship life content I mean I still because people are like so many of you guys have reached out to me so many of you guys are reaching out to me asking me questions about ship life and I just feel as though it will be so much easier if I just continue filming content pertaining to ship life even though I'm at home right now so yeah I'm I'm in the process right now of trying to figure out how to properly balance that as soon as I figure it out y'all 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 will start to see the pattern <laughs> y'all will know when I figure it out okay but I haven't forgotten about my ship life people don't worry I will have content coming for you guys soon as well but for now we're getting into a regular all weekly vlog and you know you guys I have I really 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 enjoy watching people's vlogs so I feel like that's what I should be doing as well <laughs> like the content that I enjoy watching is what I should be making as well tell me if I'm wrong I'm starting yet again weekly vlogs and hopefully I continue them but let's see how that goes because you know at home it's actually 
on shops it's also very boring <laughs> as well not necessarily boring but like my life is good it's just that when it comes to content making it may come across as boring if that makes sense so i'm trying to figure it all out it's tuesday we are about to, well i am about to head into arima i've actually been awake since like around six o'clock the time it is now 12 30 to be exact p.m i'm now about to head into arima i got up this morning i worked out i started working out for the millionth time again <laughs> and i made breakfast i had some eggs with purple onions mushrooms and um, peppers with some oat bread that i made and a blended yogurt and berry smoothie so that's what i had so far for the morning i have hummus in my fridge that i made um last week so i'll have some i'll probably when i get back home i'll probably have some hummus and vegetables for lunch and then i will be making dinner later well actually of lately when i've been making dinner i've actually been starting dinner like four o'clock and stuff you all because when the night time comes i don't want to i don't want to do it you know so I have started making my dinners like around 4 I'll start uh, or 5 o'clock I'll start. I got a couple DIYs coming. One definitely in, will be in this week's vlog because I plan on doing it on Thursday, around Thursday or so, like in two days, two or three days um, time. I'm gonna go get me some supplies and all of that. But I already have most of the supplies but I need one or two other couple things so i'm just gonna get that i'm currently wearing this top from that i got from shein if you did not see my last shein haul i'll have it linked up in the cards up above me right here as well as in the description box down below for you guys to check out and uh, regular jewelry I, I mean at this point i'm not even until i change the jewelry that i'm wearing i have lots that i can change to but until i change what I'm wearing I'm not gonna say anything about my jewelry anymore <laughs> because I feel like all I, I tell you guys Ana Luisa earrings, Ana Luisa necklace, guess what? yeah when I change it up whenever I feel like wearing something different then I'll point it out to you guys but yeah and I'm just wearing my fashion over dark colored fashion over jeans I'll actually put in an overlay and I'm on gonna wear my black Steve Madden slip-on shoes in my feet. Let's head into Arima, let's go get organized and I will talk to you guys in a bit. We're in transits, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty and You like the fast life. You like to drive and get down and dirty. I like, 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 like. We've been back home for a while. It is now 6.30. I've been home since around 4 o'clock. But my nephew was with me, so you all know how that goes. Um, so I'm just about to start dinner. Basically, I'm going to make this korma that I got at the supermarket the other day. You all Koma is my absolute favorite Indian dish. Hands down, my favorite, 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 okay? It's my, can I, can I say favorite anymore? Anyway, so I'm just about to make, it's my first time getting this one. I've actually only had Koma in real Indian restaurants, so, I'm going to try to recreate it. No, actually, I lied. I actually cooked korma here before, sometime last year, from an, a jar. The one that I got in a jar, that one was amazing. So I'm actually gonna try this one. I got it in the supermarket for, I think, like 22 or $23. This is what the packaging looks like. And, uh, it calls for meat, of course, onion, garlic paste, ginger paste, oil, this mix, and yogurt. But y'all know I don't use paste and stuff. So, oh, damn it, I forgot garlic. Oh, all my garlic 
duck is finished, so we're gonna just realistically do Indian food. Don't taste good without garlic. But we're gonna have to roll with it because this is, I've been feeling for this for a while. So um, we're gonna roll with it, okay? If it needs the garlic, I'll see if I can get some garlic tomorrow or something to add to it. But tonight I'm having this for dinner. <laughs> I've put it off for way too long. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now and just put it with some, with the last of my organic white basmati rice. I still have brown rice, but I feel like the white rice will actually be best with this. So yeah, gonna do that now. Anyway, I'm so excited to eat this, y'all. So excited to eat this. I, it just sucks that I don't have any ginger. That really sucks. I'm actually gonna use the last of my yogurt here. This is about to finish. Y'all, I've been like, <laughs> For the past couple of weeks, I've actually, all my breakfast has been yogurt with granola, shredded coconut, and um, dried cranberries. I've had that almost every single morning for the past couple of weeks. And when I did not have that, I had the blended yogurt with berries. But I don't know, but now, like now I've gotten to the point of, oh, I don't feel for yogurt anymore. So I'm gonna take a break for it. So a break from it. So this is gonna be my last container of yogurt for a while. I'm um, gonna take a break from it and um, see how that goes. Anyway, let me get started with dinner before I start to feel like I'm starving. By the way, what I ate today when I got back home, I actually just had I bought a smalter. So I had a smalter and I had the wheat di Dixie biscuit. That's it. That's what I ate. Um, apart from my breakfast and I'm actually not hungry right now but by the time these flavors start to come together I'll be hungry <laughs> so let's get to cooking just gonna put on my apron I don't know about you guys but I love putting on aprons to cook with like for one it protects my clothes from spills and stuff and all that but I also feel like a chef when I'm in it. <laughs> Gosh, you guys, this smells so good right now. <laughs> now, I like to clean as I go, as my mom taught me. She taught me well. Thank you, mommy. So I'm just about to wash my dishes right now and uh, so that I don't have a heap of work to do when I'm done cooking. That's how we do it in this family. We clean as we go, so. Yeah, y'all, I don't know what my nephew has with my pillows. <laughs> he always just builds like a pillow fort and then jumps into it. He gathers all of them all the time and leaves this chair looking like this, just bare. So I am um, just gonna put everything back where it's supposed to be right now. Y'all can't even begin to understand how good this smells right now. Just gonna add some water now. Oh, like you wanna fill out the pot. Just 
got back from Arima running some errands and happy Thursday by the way hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday I hope you guys are all doing well y'all yesterday I did not do any activities really what I actually did all day yesterday was learn how to edit on Final Cut Pro. Y'all, this thing is hard. It is hard, it is hard, it is hard. Okay, it's hard. <laughs> but I think I'm, I'm just finding my bearings, so I'm getting there. Um, I actually wanna edit this vlog in Final Cut Pro, so I've been like watching a bunch of videos. Actually, I started watching videos from since like a couple of days ago but then yesterday I, I really felt like okay it was time to actually follow along and you know do certain things and stuff so I think I'm getting it I've already edited like a small portion <laughs> of this vlog already on it so I'm excited about that and um, for those of you who don't know I was using I've been using iMovie to edit my videos my vlogs for the longest while so I'm I've decided that you know it is time to step up my game a little bit because I mean realistically there's nothing more in iMovie that I can learn I've been editing at iMovie for too long. There's literally nothing else for me to learn. It, there, there are also limitations, you know? I think it's great as a beginner type of editing software, but when you wanna do the real, when you wanna step up your game, I think that Final Cut Pro is, is best. Actually, I tried to learn Adobe Premiere Pro a couple years ago, I believe, just before the pandemic. I was trying to learn that. That's a no for me. That's a no for me. It, it just wasn't working out. So I'm finally, like, after spending all day yesterday to get it, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it, okay? I'm getting it. I'm making some leeway. I'm making, I'm editing slower on it than I do in iMovie, but it is just the process the learning process but anyway guys I'm just about to have some lunch for breakfast I had cream of wheat so porridge I love that so much so I had that and then this is the next thing that I'm eating this is what I'm eating right so some vegetable rice kalaloo and red beans my sister made this I believe either my sister yeah, my sister cooked this. Oh, I think my mom. My mom and my sister cooked this. Yo, I had to abandon my curry that I made the other night. So it was amazing, okay? It was amazing. It tasted like really, really good. So much flavor and all of that. But you know what? First of all, when I tasted it, it did not taste anything like koma. It tasted like tikka masala. And to solidify that it was really not koma, y'all, that ish was hella spicy. It was hot, hot. It was so hot. When I, when I woke up the next day, when I woke up yesterday, literally my stomach felt, my stomach was burning. It felt as though it just needs to be coated with love. That's how my stomach felt. You know, so I had it yesterday as well. I have a little bit more remaining, but I don't like I don't waste food, so I'll probably find a way to eat it tomorrow or the day after. But oh, maybe I can freeze it. I think I'll freeze it. I can freeze it. Yeah, and pick it back up at, at a later date. So I had to abandon it. It, it. it it tasted really good, but I don't do spicy food. I just don't. I I, I don't do spicy. My stomach doesn't like spicy. My tongue, my mouth doesn't like spicy and my skin does not like spicy. Anyway, it is a Thursday evening. I want to do some more editing. Well, that's what I'm going to do for the evening. And tomorrow, we'll do a DIY tomorrow and I guess next week we'll do another one. Happy Friday night. <laughs> yeah y'all happy friday night um if oh, sorry about that my phone 
If I am being absolutely honest, I have not been feeling great today. My, I got a visit from Mother Nature yesterday and I was fine yesterday, but today I've not been feeling great at all. So I'm now picking up my camera for the day and it's at night. I had to keep my promise to you guys. I had to keep my promise to you guys. I had, like, I told you guys we were going to do a DIY, we're gonna do some art today. So I'm feeling a little bit better now. And I, like, I have to keep my promise. Let's do some art, okay? Okay, so on my ground, I can't find anywhere better to do this other than outside. If we were doing it in the daytime, it would be outside. But as we're doing it at night, it's gonna be inside and I can't find anywhere else in the house to do it but on my ground because that's the only place that I um that I feel safe enough to do it then if that makes sense because this is a messy project okay so I literally just taped up some I cut a trash bag in like I cut it and I just spread it open on the floor taped it on the floor so that it doesn't shift around and stuff I put two large pieces of well they're not really large, but they're thick pieces of wood so that I can put the canvas on and then when I put the canvas on, that way it drips. At least this is what I learned from doing my last one, the one that I did before. Two of these canvases, 18 by 24 inches, I got them, y'all can see the price there, I got them at CVS Cash and Carry. These were 105 each. This is in Trinidad and Tobago dollars for my foreign friends who are gonna be like a hundred and five US dollars oh my god <laughs> no it's not like that okay and then on this separate trash bag here I just have this white paint it's from the brand Penta it's weather shield exterior emulsion paint and as I said it's in white so what I need to do is mix the white paint with water um, I just have these bowls that I used to mix the colors the last time and some palette sticks a tub of water gloves and these are rain is just starting to fall and these are the colors the acrylic colors that I have pine brown um, black gold nude and cashmere tan oh not and we have one more and white so basically I just mix all of the colors with water. I'll show you guys, but I just mix all the all of the colors with water separately and then we're gonna pour them on there. Oh, and also for this, I hope you guys can hear me because the rain just started falling. And a blow dryer. To the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more. No, just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. It's too late. To let it go And that's why I Wish you the best To say goodbye You start to get dressed and then So guys, you basically want them To be this watery consistency Well, not too, too watery, you know But this sort of consistency Don't say we didn't I was your first love so look at this consistency this will be the ideal consistency in what you're looking for promise i won't forget yeah. maybe it's something in the water or maybe we just hit the end of the road so guys this is the consistency of all of my paints i have all of my paints mixed this is actually the goal there it sits white on top but before I put it on, I'll just give it another quick stir. And then this is the consistency of the Weather Shield paint. You want it to be kind of like a runny conditioner. 
Also, I've lined up my canvases like this. I took the plastic off, lined them up like this on the wood and with a little bit of space in between because I want the sides to get when it's dripping, I want the sides, all the sides to be able to get that. So this is what the setup looks like. And now you guys, this is the part that you really need your gloves because you've actually got to pick this up and spread it all around. The best to say goodbye. We start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does So oh, baby bye It's for the best and you know why You gotta leave me here right now Before we make this even worse It's gonna hurt This is how they're currently looking right now. I think they look absolutely stunning. But what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit more gold on both so that you'll see, like, so that the gold will pop, make it pop more. This is how they came out. I absolutely love them. So I'm gonna leave them here for like 24 to 48 hours. They should take to dry. Let me show you guys what the mess is. And this is the reason that I actually put them on a little bit of a top as you guys can see because what I actually did the last with the first one that I did, I put it directly onto the trash bag. And basically all that you see, all the, um, excess paint that you see here this got stuck to the last canvas so that was my dilemma so you guys i really love my artwork so far i love them you guys will see them up in the next vlog because of course i'm going to end this vlog here right now tell me what you guys think of them by the way in the comment section down below and y'all will see them in the next vlog i promise <laughs> i promise y'all will see them in the next vlog after i've hung them they'll be dry uh-huh yeah okay go ahead you rush to go home so anyway um yeah i'm gonna hang them and yeah you guys thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i feel like a lot did not happen but i hope you guys enjoyed it nevertheless give it a thumbs up if you did that would really help me out really help my channel out as well and share my vlogs share this video with your friends and family you know we have a good relationship you and i we we got a good relationship okay and i feel like you shouldn't really keep me all to yourself it's time for me to meet more of your friends and family okay so share <laughs> me with them and we'll all be one big happy family subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already click the notification bell so that you don't miss another upload from me and i will see you guys in my next video or vlog bye Mwah.